about it, and I will enforce the time limits mercilessly. Uh, so let's get started. With opening statements, Mr. Leno, you have three minutes. Thank you very much. I want to thank the Marin County Bar Association for organizing all of this and the theater for welcoming us. Uh, the sandwiches look good. I hope you got the turkey, hold the mail that you had ordered. Uh, I am pleased to have entered into this race in March of last year, uh, convinced that democracy is best served when voters have a choice. And if I hadn't made that decision, uh, we wouldn't be here today and there probably would be no campaign because the incumbent would have been reelected without any uh, competition. Now, why it's important that we have competition, especially in these one-party dis one districts, is that we know the race in November is perfunctory because the Democratic nominee will win. So if we also don't have any competition in the primary, then we really don't have democracy at all. And without any competition, we don't have any accountability, and without accountability, we don't have any responsibility. And I think we all agree we need accountable and responsible representation. Uh, it's been a thrilling time to be in the state legislature. It's a privileged position, one which is really, in fact, in public trust. And I feel it's been a very accomplished experience. I've been signed into law over 50 bills uh, just in my first four years as an assembly member. And some of them landmark pieces of legislation, things that had never been done prior to my arrival. Uh, we amended the Fair Employment and Housing Act to include gender identity so that no one would be discriminated against in their employment or in their housing because they don't fit the gender stereotype. We also were able to find 50 million new non-general fund dollars to benefit the California Travel and Tourism Commission. This is very important because we know from every study that for every dollar we put into promoting California as a tourist destination, we get about 19 back. So this investment annually will create hundreds of thousands of new jobs, will create over a billion dollars in new revenue for businesses in California, and deliver hundreds of millions of new dollars for our general fund. And in a time when our economy is a bit sour, uh, is tourism, the number one industry in my district, and the fourth largest industry in California, can help keep us afloat. But it's not only about the accomplishments of a legislator. I believe that the way we conduct our business is of equal importance to the business that we conduct. And so I'm proud also that my style of leadership, these 10 years now that I've been in public office, is the one of respectful, inclusive, collaborative, accessible, and ethical leadership. So I hope you'll we'll have the opportunity to talk today about education and the risk of an entire generation of Californians being denied their right of quality public education because the governor continues to bow down to this false god of known taxes, even known old taxes, all for his own political expediency. And this is going to be a huge loss in California. I would like to support. Thank you. Uh, Senator Mignon, three minutes. I am your senator. I love the job. I want to be rehired. And I think I have produced the results that are required uh, when constituents have expectations of leadership in Sacramento. I had more bills signed than any other legislator last year, and that's against Arnold Schwarzenegger, including bills that brought back extra revenue to Marin, helped the Marin houseboat solve a 160-year legal dispute, signed the first and strongest bill in the nation against uh, uh, cosmetic manufacturers insisting that they take the carcinogens out of their product, product, and that's the safe cosmetic bill. We advanced the Williamson Act again to keep open space every year. The uh, governor deletes it every year. We reinsert it and include it. $400 million was secured by me for transportation projects here when Los Angeles has pretty much stolen the allocation of state transportation money. Others did help, but I called the six commissioners three times a day and made it obsession to make sure that we here in the North Bay get our fair share. I'm a fighter. I produce results. I don't quit. I make no apologies for the fact that sometimes it's a tough arena. I spend a lot of my time walking the hallways trying to find a solution. And let me tell you something. A lot of folks will tell you they authored bills, they co-authored that, 
It didn't become law. What I've left is the lasting footprint of legacy. What gets enacted? You read something, find out what was enacted. Not what was passed, but what was signed. And we saved the headwaters forest, a thousand thousand year old trees in Humboldt. That was signed into law. I helped Nevada schools, the 500 grand a year, and San Francisco to help the equalization formula that somehow doesn't fund Nevada school children to the same degree of uh, children in other parts of uh, Marin County. Ed Bavarian and I worked on a domestic violence bill we felt very strongly about. Unfortunately, Mr. Leno kind of disabled and neutered that bill, and we couldn't go forward. That happened in Assembly Appropriation. We feel badly about that. But at the same time, I'm proud to be the author of the DNA registry that now that it's been in place, it has found and solved many unsolved rape cases. They find if you go in for burglary, they're often that you could have been a rapist, and that's working out well. And with regard to the rental car bill, the problem with Mr. Leno's bill is that tourism money was generated only from rate payers and wasn't borne equally by business and rate payers. So sure, there's a big tourist fund. We're looking into that. That's great. But that shouldn't be tacked on to the price you pay to rent a car. They allow the uh, car companies this way to unbundle price so everyone counts it as a terrific thing. Thank you. I'm very glad to continue with the representation of the rehire me. Thank you, Mr. Nation. Three minutes. Great. Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's great to be here. You are uh, you're lucky as voters because there are a lot of things that we share in common, but there are a number of differences that you're going to hear today and hopefully over the next 25 days. I encourage you to visit my website, visit their websites, and be informed and do what uh, uh, what you all do and uh, on, on June 3rd. Uh, if you have questions, please contact me. Uh, but I really do think that you have a clear choice in this race. I think this race is about effectiveness. I think it's about leadership. I agree with Carol. It's not about introducing bills and getting a press hit or a headline. It's about getting things done. And in my six years in the State Assembly representing Marin and Sonoma counties, I also had signed into law about 50 bills, including some of the ones that, uh, that have been mentioned already, but landmark legislation that is now being copied across the country. For example, one that goes into effect this fall is one that requires automakers to put a label on cars so that you know how many, how many greenhouse gas emissions are coming from that car. As we do that in California, the rest of the country is going to follow us. Um, I think that you're going to hear uh, a number of differences on, on, on as I said, on, on these issues and more. Uh, we have a budget mess in Sacramento. We have a budget mess because people don't have the courage to stand up to the governor and say no sometimes. I did that when I was there in 2004. The governor wanted to cut school funding by $3.1 billion. At the time, the largest cut in school funding in the history of the state. I was one of a handful of Democrats who said no. And if I were there today, I'd say no. Because you have to draw the line and you have to stand on principle. I have ideas about how to raise revenue. Rather than going back to the old vehicle license fee that the governor uh, got rid of, I want to have something called the green vehicle license fee that would be based half on the value of the car and half on the miles per gallon. So if you drive a gas guzzler, you get dinged a little bit more, but we'll also create money to give you about a $2,000 rebate so you'll actually be able to buy a more fuel efficient car. Uh, I think I have a very different position, uh, certainly from Mr. Leno on the issue of casinos. There's a proposed casino in Rotor Park. I'll vote against that compact. I don't care what it looks like. The casino doesn't belong there because it's only a matter of time before they start trying to put one here in Marin County. It's not an appropriate place to put a casino. We have different approaches to health care. Mine is very much like the Obama-Clinton plans at the national level. A real plan that has a real chance of passage. Um, and, uh, uh, and finally, uh, there is no one who's going to work harder for you on the issue of climate change and alternative energy. Uh, it is the biggest long-term threat that we face. I'm very proud that I was the principal co-author, second name, uh, or actually initially second name on that bill, uh, to enact that the most aggressive greenhouse gas reduction plan in the country. Uh, but we have to do so much more, and I look forward to doing that. Thank you for being here today. I appreciate your time. Thank you.